We're going to start off with some very wild video to show you. A pickup truck plows through a wall at Sarasota Bradenton International Airport. Take a look at that. You can see it just flies right through the baggage area. The good news here is no one inside was hurt. Mm. The driver's in the hospital in serious condition, though. And investigators are trying to figure out how the man managed to cause so much chaos. Our Ryan Hughes is live inside the airport with this wild yeah. story. Ryan. Hey, good afternoon to you both. So really a dramatic morning here inside the airport. You can see all the damage done here. Workers have been on scene since 3 a.m. When that truck hit that concrete wall, it broke it into a lot of pieces just like this one. And believe it or not, this piece went flying through the air, hit the Alamo rental car sign, and went directly through the letter O. You see it there live. That desk is where two people were working this morning, and thankfully, they were not hurt. We have some video to show you. Take a look at this unbelievable video from inside the airport. At the moment, the truck crashes through the wall. It was just before 3 a.m. when it happened, and the airport was pretty quiet at that hour. Then the truck flies through the building and strikes the rental car desk. A couple of workers, as I mentioned, were behind the desk, and they were not hurt. The driver, identified as Juan Monsivas, was taken to the hospital and is still there this afternoon. State troopers want to know why he went so fast and so far before breaking through the wall. Now, eight on your side spoke to the airport president not too long ago. This is what he had to say. Sometimes you have 200 people around this bag belt. Uh, it could have been much worse. So uh, I'm thankful that no one was hurt. Uh, and that uh, all we got to do is we got to fix things. But uh, that's a small price to pay rather than having people get hurt. Really a wonder no one was hurt this morning back here live inside the airport. You see that up there? That is another piece of concrete that literally flew from the wall all the way to that area. Now, we're told by the Florida Highway Patrol, of course, that terrorism has been ruled out in this case. And speaking of that, believe it or not, just a few years ago, after the airport bombing in Brussels, Belgium, the airport put bomb-resistant film over the doors here. They said they spent a few million dollars on that. And today's crash was so powerful that it actually, that resistance actually stopped these pieces of concrete from flying through those windows. So pretty remarkable here this morning. We're live this afternoon in Sarasota. I'm Ryan Hughes, 8 on your side.